There are rituals out in the hallway. Everyone has their part. They're about to yell to the ice come the hawks. Hey, how's it going everybody? I am LambChop99 and today we're going to be going through the full list of features in NHL 16 on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. 6v6 online team play is back with user control goalies and real world rosters. You can compete in ranked drop-in games against players all around the world or invite your friends to a private OTP session playing with some of your favorite teams. Next up is be a GM mode and it's going to be for player morale. So I don't play that much GM mode but I'm going to read out the description that EA has given us. So being a GM is about more than just getting the best players. It's about getting the right players to play well together. Each player on your NHL and AHL team has a different personality that you will have to manage. Deal with trade demands, teammate relationships, and much more by calling team meetings or adjusting your roster to directly affect your team's on-ice performance. Also, it looks like EA has revamped their BA Pro mode in NHL 16, adding in a new BA Pro progression system, where how you play on ice influences your attributes earned, meaning your player will reflect the way you play in-game. Sim to your next shift and the ability to work your way up from CHL rookie to an NHL superstar also make a return into NHL 16. It also looks like they expanded their NBC Sports broadcast package and new pregame intros that bring drama to life in more ways than ever before. If you're also a person that likes to play online with your friends, uh, what you can do is you can play the online couch co-op mode, uh, which is the, basically the perfect way to play with your friends in some ranked drop-in games online. Not only that, but the long-awaited EA Sports Hockey League is back, also known as EA SHL. This game mode has been reimagined and lets you choose specialized player classes to deliver a balanced competitive experience. Player skill and your ability to play as a team will now be the determining factor in who wins and loses hockey games. Alright, so the next game feature I'm going to talk about gets me very excited, but EA is saying that they have improved the control of every single position, whether you play as a forward, defenseman, or goalie, NHL 16 delivers a balanced gameplay experience that makes every position on the ice meaningful to team success. And the reason why I'm so excited about this is because finally we might be able to see players like Rick Nash, Andrew Ladd, Dustin Bufflins, a little bit on the slower side, have a much bigger role in NHL 16. Also, a new feature that has been added to new gen consoles is visual on ice training. If you're a newbie just starting off NHL or a well seasoned veteran, EA now offers a game mode where you can tone your skills and practice your offensive and defensive skills. A small little feature they've added in as well is playoff beards, so they weren't too specific on which game modes this will be in, but it'll definitely add a little bit more realism into the game. So the next feature on the list is precision skating, and the reason why I think this is a very important update is because in NHL 15, uh, the movements were a little bit groggy, your guy would be hard to control sometimes, but they are saying that they added in a new skating tool that will allow us to make more refined movements with our skater in all situations. You can quickly jump into passing lanes easier and intercept the puck while walking the blue line on the power play and open yourself up to one-timers in the offensive zone, which honestly I don't think was done too much in NHL 15, but I'm looking forward to that update in NHL 16. Seamless puck pickups is definitely something a little bit new to NHL 16 at least. Uh, I know a lot of fans were complaining that it's really hard to pick up the puck in NHL 15, especially when it bounces around all the time, and it does look like EE has improved that system just a little bit. They are saying that with the new puck pickups will result in smoother transitions when receiving the puck no matter what position you are in, giving you more time and control to make your next move. So for the Hockey Ultimate Team fans, they did add back in single player seasons into HUT as well as Play a Friend which was highly requested in NHL 15. I've also heard from inside sources that NHL 16's menus are going to be a lot faster to navigate through and for the people that enjoy HUT or enjoy any type of game mode, it will definitely speed up the process of getting right into the game and building your Ultimate Team. It also looks like EA has improved the team arena atmosphere just a little bit more, including more authentic arena effects and props including team specific celebrations mascots, chants, and even signature props like the lighthouse at the XL Energy Center in Minnesota. Last but not least is Superstar Authenticity, which enhanced the facial features and new equipment details synonymous with the league's top players. You can use these new equipment elements to customize your own created character, giving them a unique look from custom stick tape, colored skate laces, tinted visors, and even more. 
Anyways guys, that is going to be it for the full list of NHL 16 features and updates. If you want to see more information, I will leave you guys with a link in the description box below that will direct you to the full article that EA Sports has posted. Also, I will be posting more NHL 16 content and trailers in the near future. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and you won't be sorry and you will see more videos just like this. Anyways, that is just about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment box below what feature in NHL 16 you are most looking forward to. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys later and have a good day. Bye.